Hi, I'm going to show you a tutorial of how to create this polar panoramic. First, what you'll need to do is take some pictures to create a panoramic, so at least three pictures side by side. Then come open Photoshop, go to File, Automate, and Photo Merge. And then go to Browse, select your images. Open, and then just make sure that blend images together is checkmarked. Go ahead and press OK. Alright, so that took about a couple minutes for Photoshop to do its thing. And um, now what you're going to do is, if you notice you have three layers, or however many pictures that you, that you did, they're going to be in your layers palette, and you want to merge those. So Command-Shift-E, or Control-Shift-E on the PC. And then I'll select the magic wand tool, or press W on the keyboard. And then you want to um, select this area outside, because we want to fill this, because we don't want this odd, you know, weird shape of this panoramic. So select that, and then come up to Image, or I mean Edit, go down to Fill, and then make sure it says Content Aware, and then press OK. And then wait a few minutes for that. To all right, so that took a couple minutes as well, and it does a pretty nice job. If you uh, Command D or Control D on the PC to deselect, then we have some you know weird things over here. And instead of trying to fix it with the clone stamp, I'm just going to use the crop tool and just crop that out, and then enter or press the check mark. And then we have this little area up here that I'm just going to fix with the clone stamp tool S on your keyboard and just the, use the bracket keys to adjust your brush size and I'm just gonna go right over that and it's all better. Now what you want to do is go to image, image size and make sure that constraint proportion is unchecked and then make the height the same width or size as your width. So for me it's going to be 90 to 32. Press OK or Enter. And then this is the image that you get. And now go to Image, Image Rotation, and rotate it 180 degrees. All right. Now the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and add the polar coordinates filter. So go to Filter, go to Distort and polar coordinates. And then what you want, um, this is what it's going to look like, and you want to make sure that rectangular to polar is selected. Go ahead and press OK. Alright, so now we have the polar uh, coordinates that we just applied, and this is what it looks like. I have this pretty obvious line right here that we want to get rid of. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, duplicate this layer, so Command J or Control J on the PC, because that way if we mess up we can always com come back to our original layer. And what you can do is uh, use the clone stamp tool to um, by pressing S and just kind of use it, just use your judgment and just kind of come on these areas and I'm not going to to do all of it here, but that you get the idea. Just do that down here and use your judgment. And then what you can do is come up here to this line and uh, press B on your keyboard or bring up the brush tool. Use your brackets to adjust the size and then uh, Option on your keyboard or Alt on the PC will bring up the eyedropper tool and you'll want to use that to select a color next to that that crease right there and then you can um, we're gonna start painting but first we want to make the opacity come down to about 30 so you can press 3 on your keyboard and that will make the opacity come down or you can just type it in and then just start painting over that line and then just flow it into your image and then just keep doing that and it'll 
eventually that crease will go away. And it's okay if you paint on the trees because then what you can do is come to that layer and add a layer mask and then paint with black back on the trees. And then you can bring up the opacity back to 100 to bring back that fullness of the trees. And so after you've done that, and again, just use your judgment, then you can have your finished panel and you can rotate it to your liking and just see which way you like it. And then now you have your own polar panorama or your own planet. And this can be pretty addicting. You'll want to start taking a lot of panoramics and trying this out. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you have fun trying it and it works out for you. Thanks.